Hello, my name is uh, Christoph Alec. I'm the uh, Jazz Continuous Development Manager. Um, and uh, Jazz, IBM Jazz, is a collaborative software and system development lifecycle uh, that is available on jazz.net, so it's available on the web. Um, and uh, my role in, uh, in IBM is to continuously deploy uh, the new build into production. So my task is to take all the builds that we produce daily and ultimately deploy them into production. Um, my role is there also to ensure that the development team uh, is involved into the operation. So they are responsible for analyzing the performance and analyzing, for instance, troubleshooting issues. In these small videos, I'm going to show how we're using IBM Urban Code Deploy uh, to achieve our continuous deployment and delivery. First, I'm going to explain the architecture, the Jazz.NET architecture with the different cluster that we got um, to show you what machines are used in the deployment. Then I'm going to explain how we were deploying um, on Jazz.NET before we had IBM Urban Code Deploy, what are the problems that we had and the whole process that we got. I'm going to then show the process that now we're using um, with Urban Code Deploy and finally I'm going to show you the directions um, we're going to take um, to deploy. I'm first going to describe the Jazz.net topology. As I said, Jazz.net is available from the internet, so we got an internet access to the system that is located inside IBM. What you're seeing right now in red describes the internet, and you can see that we connect on Jazz.net through some dispatcher with some known um, IP address. Those proxies are then redirected to two different um, web servers. Uh, we call them Jazz Web 1 and Jazz Dev 2. They are inside the IBM. They provide the static information, the forums that you find in Jazz.net, uh, some of the wiki. And they also redirect, which is the important part, they redirect into what I call the cluster, the CLM cluster, uh, the Jazz cluster, which provides all the application uh, work at end, change management, and so on, if you're aware of Jazz.net. The interesting part there is on the left side with the three nodes that are called prod CLM 01, 02, and 03. Jazz is hosted as a cluster on WebSphere 8006 using WebSphere uh, Extended Service 7111. We connect to DB2 10.1 and to Tivoli directory services. So when we do continuous deployment and continuous upgrade, these are the three nodes, prod CLM 01, 02, and 03, that we need to upgrade. This means uninstalling the WAR file, reinstalling the new WAR file, running some of the migration, and then restarting the cluster. Let's talk about the process that we used to take to deploy into production. Um, the process starts when the build has been created, obviously, and has been tested. So. What happened technically is I was receiving an email from the release manager telling me that a new build was available for deployment. At that time, I was working with the operation team, providing them the location of the build and telling them, look, you can deploy that on the system that we call Blues. Blues has the exact same topology as our production. It's also a cluster, um, uses the same version of the software. Um, and it's used for what I consider the continuous delivery, continuous upgrade. We were providing new build on Blues every day for the last week of the sprint or every week uh, the rest of the time. This is where developers were testing their feature and they were also doing some performance testing. So we're running some robots to make sure that the system was ready. So this was happening weekly, almost daily. And when we were ready to deploy to production, we had to go through an intermediate system named Sol. This one is an exact copy of the production. Right? It contains the exact same code. We do some renaming and copying of the database, providing the same data. Um, and that's where we test the upgrade of the production using the bill that has been stamped as going into production. Right? So in Blues, we're deployed daily, weekly. We do all the different builds at one point one bill has been deemed to be ready to go into production. So we do a mock-up of the upgrading of production in the Sol system. That is also the same topology as Jazz. This system is also very interesting to test some of the patch and hot fixes for GA, which is our general availability code, the one that is in production, 
and also to debug production code issue without disturbing production. So the goal of Sol is extremely important for debugging and testing the patch and the upgrade before we deploy into production. And once we have the goal, that's where we do the outage inside Jazz. We bring Jazz down. We do the same upgrade process that we did for Sol and we upgrade Jazz to the latest code. Let me show you now what is the process with Urban Code Deploy. As you can see, I'm in Rational Team Concert right now and I'm highlighting the build that has been finished and published. What is happening is as soon as the build is done, a new component is generated in Urban Code Deploy. So that's a system that generates the version directly inside my dashboard, uh, my Urban Code Deploy dashboard. So I can see all the version that have been generated. What I need to do though, is I need to find the right build and tag it, tag it as BVT business validation test as passed. This allow me to go through the gate and ensure that I can deploy only validated build into the system. As you can see, I got all the system listed here, the blues, the soul, the jazz, uh, they all contain an agent because they're clustered, so I can, I can uh, have an agent on each and every node. Um, and once the build is being passed, the BVT, I can just decide to deploy it on the system, in that case, Sol. So the script already exists. I got my upgrade, upgrade cluster script. I choose the version that I can uh, deploy, the one that I just uh, selected right now, as well as the version of the script. Uh, that I need to use to deploy. And once this is done, this is where I submit. This is going to pull the zip file and the build from the system, installing in one of the node and run the script to upgrade the first node and then duplicate on the other nodes. So as you can see right now, the system is asking me for a validation. And that's because you, we don't want anybody to just publish and send information, right? It needs an approval for somebody who is authorized to say yes. The system right now in staging, could it be Blues, could it be Sol, is not used by anybody else and yes, we can do a deployment. So this system of approval is extremely important for auditing um, and to prevent any issue occurring into the staging and into the production. So once I approved the deployment, of that build on the staging system, Sol. This is where the whole process is happening. Let's now look at the second part of the deployment. Once the first node has been upgraded, we still need to do a couple manual steps. This will not be done in the new release of Rational Team Concert CLM and Jazz. But in the current version, once everything is done on one node, there are still two tasks that need to be done manually by an operator. One is to upgrade the application called RM, Requirement Management. And the second one is to copy some of the index file from one node to another one. We're working to automate that, but right now it's still manual. So what is happening is as an administrator, I receive an email telling me that a task has been created for me. Clicking directly into the link, I go to my urban code deploy dashboard and I realize that the task there is to manually initialize the requirement management, which means unclustering, initializing RM, and then copying the file. Once this is done, and once the operator tells me that this is done, this is where I can approve the task, which means that ultimately the system has been upgraded. So you know now how we use urban code deploy in IBM Jazz to do continuous delivery. I personally like Urban Code Deploy for two major reasons. One, it is a fantastic orchestrator for my job. As you see, I have three systems that I manage, the production and two staging system. But I have multiple more CLM or instances that are inside IBM, used by our developer that are not outside. So if I can manage the development of those 20 plus 50, 60 system using a single server, 
a single dashboard. This is saving a lot of my time. The second reason why I like Urban Code Deploy is because it's really developer oriented. I don't have to call my operation team, find out if there are holidays to deploy. I can, by the click of a button, decide myself as a deployment manager where and when I want to deploy the build. As you can see, there is still more work that we need to do. First, we need to finish the script. We need to finish the script to make sure that end-to-end -end deployment is taken into account. What is very interesting is by doing that, we want to transform the operation team into a script development operation team. They should use that system, jazz.net, to develop, manage, and maintain their script that is going to be used to deploy jazz.net. The second part that we need to work on is the whole process of continuous delivery. As you notice, our continuous delivery is weekly or at most daily in staging and the production is still every eight weeks. The goal is to put urban code deploy and the script inside production and be able to deploy the new build daily directly into production. The other thing we're working on is avoiding this outage. So the idea we got is to move one of the staging, soul or blows, into what we call a second production. So we'll have two production systems. We upgrade a system daily. We do some of the tests. And once that system is ready, we flip into production and the other system now become the staging where we're going to upgrade the next build and so on. This will ensure we have continuous deployment, but also uh, continuous testing. I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, stay tuned for the next one.